Hello everyone, this is Groundbreaking Animations and today we have a stop motion tutorial video on how to make your stop motions a lot better. Today we'll be covering the four main things you should think about while you're doing a stop motion. First thing we'll be talking about is the quality of your video. The quality of your video means what apps you use, what camera you use, and just everything like that. So here's every single editing app that we use and I'll briefly talk about every single one of them. Now Saber Movie FX is a great app because it really livens up your Star Wars stop motions making the lightsabers glow. Unfortunately, the price for this app is $15. Our stop motion app is Stop Motion Studio Pro, coming in at $5. Really nothing much about it, it's just a stop motion app that's really good. Next is Video Editor Vlogstar. We use it solely for the screen recorder if we want to screen record anything. It's really helpful. And it's free. And we use Prism Live for our live streams. Now last but certainly not least, we use InShot to piece all of our videos together. It has everything you need to edit a video, and it's free. Next up is lighting, and this is really important because flicker can easily ruin your stop motions. I have two lamps on my desk that help the flicker, but it doesn't completely block it out. Now lamps can be super expensive, so if you don't have any money for the lamps, then just remove any excess light from your room. Now the third one is ease in, ease out. This is easily the most important one because it really shows how realistic your stop motions could look. Ease in, ease out means before he makes movement, he needs to get ready for the movement. And when he's done doing the movement, he needs to have little movements after the movement. Another example is when Cal throws a lightsaber at Mickey. You can see Cal gets ready for his throw, and then he follows through with it, and Mickey has a recoil, which makes it a lot more realistic. What FPS should I use? This is a common question. I have two answers, 12 FPS and 15 FPS. 15 FPS can make your stop motions look a lot smoother, but be ready to do little movements because if you do big movements or medium movements, it would make it way too fast. 12 FPS is easier to make your stop motions longer because you don't need as many frames per second, and if you practice with it, you can make your stop motions look as good as 15 FPS. Something that's also very important is to keep your camera still, so build a tripod out of Lego like this and it would improve your stop motions. And now we have a bonus tip. If you're doing stop motions and they look too slow, try doing 15 FPS. And if you're doing 15 FPS and they look too fast, do 12. Thanks for watching. Remember to leave a like.